Kraków. The circumstances are, hmm, unclear. Karol Szymanowski is carrying the score of his grand new work to the musicians of the Philharmonic. Could anything spoil such a big moment? As it turns out, it could. Let's hope that Szymanowski remembers what he composed and will be able to reconstruct the lost fragment. Oh, Karol. It's time to leave that fin du siècle mentality behind. A lot has changed since your day. The creation of PWM Edition, for example, which not only publishes music and books about music, but has also set up the Polish Music Library, which is collecting and digitizing archive material and making it available to the public. Grzyna and Wojciech have seen it with their own eyes. All right, we'll show you how it works. It all starts with the preparation of the material. This is not straightforward. For example, sheet music used by orchestras is held in Warsaw, from where it must travel to Kraków. The next step is to scan the material in high resolution and, if necessary, with additional lighting. Those plain scans are saved in the repository to ensure that the digital version is of the best possible quality, the material is cleaned and corrected. That gives us the retouched files. Next, all the most important information about the material is entered into the digital database. Finally, the retouched files are used to produce formats for the website. These are also entered into the database if it is legally possible, they are made available at www.polishmusiclibrary.pl. If not, at least they are safeguarded against puddles, for instance. And I've saved the best for last. You can find some real gems among the PWM materials available in the Polish Music Library, from unique scores through iconography to manuscripts and press cuttings. Well then, are you coming in? <laughs>